A thigh bone found in China suggests an ancient human species thought to be extinct about one and a half million years ago survived alongside modern humans. The 14,000-year-old bone found among the remains of China's Red Deer Cave people belongs to a species resembling the most ancient humans and the discovery was made by a joint team of Australian and Chinese scientists. Professor Paul Tayson is from Griffith University and is co-author of the research. Can you tell me firstly what's so special about this old bone? This thigh bone or femur is really unusual. It has eight features, including being very narrow, having a thin outer wall, uh, that are more like archaic femurs or thigh bones rather than any known modern humans, past or present. It's also got two very distinct features, uh, unique to itself. And so it has an affinity more with archaic humans than with any modern human. So can you explain those differences for me? How did this ancient species differ to modern humans? Well, we know that uh, Homo erectus, one of the archaic humans of uh, East Asia, was around until about 100,000 years ago. Modern humans got into the area at least 60 to 80,000 years ago. And there were Neanderthals living nearby um, up to about 40,000 years ago in Siberia. There was also an unusual archaic called Denosovans, closely related to Neanderthals. And DNA analysis has shown that people in Southeast Asia, uh, Melanesia, including Australia, have a lot of this DNA today. So somewhere in Southeast Asia, this archaic group was interbreeding with modern humans. Not only do we have this archaic femur, we also have a skull with a face that we have recently published. Uh, and in that paper, we've argued that it is a hybrid. So we are building up more and more evidence to show that archaic humans survived in this part of the world until much more recently than we previously believed. So does this change scientists' understanding of human evolution? Uh, well, excuse the pun, this will be a bone of contention <laughs> among many of our colleagues uh, because it challenges long-held theories about how humans developed in Africa and then what happened when they spread into Europe and Asia. But it adds to um, new genetic evidence that I just referred to, as well as uh, startling evidence from Siloasi by other Griffith colleagues, uh, Max O'Bear and Adam Brum, that people were making rock paintings as much as 40,000 years ago in Southeast Asia. And all of this it shows that our picture of our evolution, our development, is incomplete. And more research in Southeast Asia, East Asia, and indeed Australia, uh, is going to help us complete this picture. So in that vein then, what more can we learn from these ancient relics? Is there potential for more DNA analysis, for example, in places like Australia? Unfortunately, in hot tropical areas, DNA doesn't survive that well. Um, however, uh, we are undergoing a, a number of studies to try and extract minute amounts of DNA um, from fossil human material. Uh, we have attempted to get some from the thigh bone, uh, but that was unsuccessful, but we will be trying again. But also what's really unusual about some of these remains, including the thigh bone, is that they were painted in red ochre, suggesting that there was some symbolic activity happening uh, among people, archaic or modern or hybrids, after this individual passed away. So there are lots of mysteries that still need to be solved. It's absolutely fascinating. Professor Paul Tayson, thanks for coming on the show today. Thank you.